Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, this time I have a Christmas journal to share with you. Um, I've been uh, using a kit from Joey Cardmaker um, that he released last year called the 12 Days of Christmas. Uh, I also included uh, our two ephemera kits from tailor-made journals, vintage Christmas photos and Victorian Christmas scrap. Um, both fantastic kits. Um, the journal is primarily Joey Card Maker. Um, as, as we go inside, you'll see uh, why I chose it. It's a beautiful kit, very vibrant and cheerful and Christmassy, of course. <laughs> anyway, let me show you around. So the cover um, was an old popcorn box, um, you know, the microwave popcorn that you get. Um, it's a nice, small size. I looked at the box once I'd finished all the popcorn and thought, hmm, I can make a cover out of that. So I did. Um, so obviously covered with fabrics. Uh, I used a cotton fabric, a white on there, which I felt brought out the white of snow that we sometimes get at Christmas. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and um, some seam binding, which is Christmas seam binding. Um, or bias binding, should I say, around the edges, um, the scalloped edge there, I don't know whether you can see it, just gives it that nice little trim. I've also used some die cuts, some Sizzix die cuts, um, some branches there, which I've used stickles on to give it that extra sparkle, and another Sizzix die, um, which I've embossed there, just to gloss it up a bit. On this spine, I have a little co cubijon that I put together. That's my own picture inside, a little poinsettia. Oh no, if I get the glare off it, you might see it. Little pearl at the top there. There are various charms along the edges. There's a little holly there and a wreath and Christmas bells, a musical note. Same at the top there, and on this side we have a little Christmas tree, and I think the one down here is a Santa, yes it is. So yeah, they're all sewn on, including that one, so they won't come off. The enclosure, the, um, sorry, the closure is sandwiched between the papers there and the cover so that it stays intact. Um, that's a black watch tartan ribbon there. And here's the first page. Uh, it's the 12 days of Christmas, which I've called this journal. And that one's depicting a lot of the, the five gold rings there, a geese. The swans, the lords, the ladies, and the drummers, and the partridge, of course. And that's page one, which is the partridge in a pear tree. There's a journaling card there um, of some children just looking through the window at some birds that are feeding next to their own little Christmas tree there. I've just edged it with um, Barn Door Distress Ink. Inside is a element from TaylorMade Journal's uh, vintage Christmas photos. A rather happy postman there, laden with Christmas parcels, going through the snow. There's an element from the kit. which I've just kept together to make a little notebook, which I've just sewn down with the parchment paper. The kit, um, I actually shrunk down um, by 50% and, and also printed out on parchment paper, just to give it that more luxurious feel. But as you can see, the kit is quite vibrant. I thought the parchment paper really brought that out as well. There's 
two calling birds or two turtle doves. Another journaling card, which I've sewn around. And some more of the distress ink around the edges. There's a tag from the kit. One of the three French hens. There's some baker's twine at the top there and the gold eyelet. The corner pocket there is from uh, the kit, uh, 12 Days of Christmas. And the collage and the Christmas bell is an element from Taylor Made Journals. And I've just put some muslin underneath. double page spread there you see there's lots of journaling space there's a Sizzix um, slot pocket there which I've embossed um, on well, underneath the embossing are some distress inks and I've just put some clear crystal embossing powder on the top just to give it that sparkle um, inside the slot pockets are elements from Taylor Made Journals. Some little tags there. Some old Green Shield stamps that I had, I've had in my stash for a while. This gives it that oldie worldy feel. It's sort of like an old traditional Christmas journal, this. Some little uh, book page with an element from the kit just at the bottom there. There's the turtle doves again. And there's the three French hens and the other side of the partridge there. Four calling birds. There's another corner pocket there with the five gold rings. Um, another little snippet element from Taylor May Journals on top of some muslin. The journaling card. Again, edged with barn door distress ink. And some sewing. Some are about to embark down the chimney. <laughs> And one of the six geese of laying from the kit. There's some snowflake stenciling there. And inside the doily corner pocket I've created there, a little element from the kit on top of some muslin. There's a um, one of the swans are swimming there on the seventh day. There's Piper's piping, a little envelope. And inside we have a vintage cigarette ca um, ticket card and a miniature playing card there. One that you'd probably find in a Christmas cracker. In fact, I think I got them out of a Christmas cracker. There's the calling birds again. That robin there is an element um, from her Tim Holtz ephemera kit. There's a tag from the Taylor Made Journals Victorian scrap. I've just added some eyelash, sparkly eyelash trim there. And 
There's a three French hens page there, and the five gold rings. There's six geese are laying. And I've got a page band here, which I've collaged with elements from the kit. Just some little faux stamps and I'll, um, oh, tickets and banners. And uh, underneath is some book page, just to bring them out a little bit. And underneath that is some more of the eyelash trim, sparkly eyelash trim. And in the page tag... There's a journaling card I've created. Um, the main image is from, <coughs> excuse me, um, Joey Card Maker's kit. A partridge and a pear tree. Um, um, I backed it with a card um, and some paper that I had from uh, old candy bags. And the card there's been sewn round, and I've just added a gold. I lat I, I lat <laughs> I lat at the top there. I've just edged that card there with some bow decorative sewing there. I like little bows. I don't know if you can see them. I feel like I'm about to lose my voice. <laughs> Excuse me while I just take a drink. <clears throat> That's better. There's a uh, tracing paper bag there, um, which I've just embossed. I'll take the card out, might see it better. Um, and I've also highlighted the embossing with some Distress Ink there. Yeah. There's one of the turtle doves. And there's some ticking fabric at the top there. The six geese are laying. That's the other side of the five gold rings. And here is one of those candy bags. Um, I've just folded in half and made into a pocket on both sides. I just have a little collage there with some fabric and elements from tailor made journals and one of my own stamps. I have a moustache. Um, very young queen there, a vintage stamp. And I've created here a scented sachet, which I've just closed with some uh, ticking fabric there and some baker's twine. There's a little dangle there of a snowflake and a little book page with collage on with um, a picture from the Victorian scrap on top there. And it's like I say, a scented sachet and mm, cinnamons, nutmegs, that kind of smells, all Christmassy smells. There's a mulberry flower there with a little pearl flat back that's stuck on there. And on the back there, I've used some more muslin and another element from Taylor May Journal's Victorian Scrap. There's a journaling card there, Father Christmas at the piano. There's a bag of sack, a sack of goodies there. Um, this is on cardstock. Um, it's just a what I thought would be like a little Christmas card in the middle of the of the journal. There's some more uh, bias binding there, with red colour with poncettias on and some scalloped edging there. There's a musical note and a little Christmas bell. I've stamped there a little Christmas elf or brownie. And it's Mackie stamp. He's just carrying his back of goodies there, running off. 
and this, the toys are spilling out of the sock there. Really cute. Um, that little number tag there is from Shabby Dabby Doo and another element from Taylor May Journal's Victorian Scrap. There's Ponsettia. And another journaling card. Some old Christmas music there with elements of the barn door distressing throughout. I've just folded up a little compliments of the season banner there with some gold trim on the other side of the Christmas music with some more of the bias binding, scalloped bias binding, another musical note and a little bell. And on the back of there we have a, another journaling card of the family singing around the tree there. A little element from Taylor May's journals from the Victorian scrap and um, another Mackie stamp there, mistletoe. There's a little heart there with a Christmas wish on it. Tender memories, wake and say, forget me not on Christmas Day. That's cute. And there's some mistletoe. And there's the other side, side, uh, so the side of the candy bag. Another element from Taylor May Journals on some fabric. I've got some lace across there. The journaling card there with a, a tab from the kit. And it's a Christmas greeting on there. Never a Christmas morning, never the old year ends. But somebody thinks of somebody. Old days, old times, old friends. And that's lovely. Again, barn door, distress ink around the side. The edges. Another collage on the back there. Um, lace on the bottom with an element from Taylor May Journals and another one of my vintage stamps there from Mustache. There's Seven Swans, a swimming page. Eight Maids are Milking. Oh, here's another embossed tracing paper pocket there, which I've highlighted with, I think that's mode lawn distress ink. And that's just housing a another card from the kit. A partridge in a pear tree. And that's back with some journaling on the back. Journaling space, that is. Some more ticking, just on the top there. A double edged spread. Another page band there. There's some more of the collaging with elements from the kit, little tickets, stamps, and just sentiments. And some book page underneath of sentiments. And some more of the eyelash trim on there. And this time some green bow decorative stitching around the edge. And in there we have a tag using the red candy bag. And there's a card from the kit which I've sewn around and a gold eyelet at the top. And some journaling space at the back. And get it back in. There we are. There's nine ladies dancing. Oh, 
and loads of leaping. That one always makes me laugh. <laughs> another corner pocket from the kit um, which I've just added a little snippet there of some muslin and another element from Taylor Made Journals a journaling card some children are putting their stockings up on the fireplace I've used the barn door distress ink around the edges and sewn around there's two of the eight maids are milking and there's some Baker's twine on the top there with a gold eyelet and some journaling space at the back. Not all the tags and the cards have journaling space at the back. There's some more snowflake stenciling there. Another doily corner pocket. A little element from the kit on some muslin. There's a miniature journaling tag. And a drummer's drumming with again a little playing card and a vintage cigarette card there. There's a um, card there which I've edged with the barn door and some stitching round with an element from Taylor Made Journals. A journaling card of the 12 days of Christmas all listed there. And some journaling space on the back. There's the pipers piping. Twelve drummers drumming. There's another slot pocket there with some elements from tailor-made journals, some more of the green shield stamps, another sentiment from the kit on some book page, another tag from the kit. There's the Lord there in all his glory, leaping. <laughs> oh no, it just it just makes me laugh that one. So cute. A little stocking there, green shield stamps, little Santas there, all from Taylor Made Journals. Again, um, that was embossed round on top of Oxide's inks that I covered the pocket with, and the sparkling embossing on top. Another corner pocket from the kit, element from Taylor Made Journals on some muslin. There's a piper piping. And another journaling card. Santa's bin. And he's got all his toys. Journaling space on the back. Another journaling card made into a pocket there. A little snowy community picture there. With a, a drummer drumming tag. And a journaling space on the back. All sewn around with a gold eyelet. And some baker's twine. Christmas colours. And another little booklet. Notepad. All edged with the barn door distress ink and parchment paper another photo from the Victorian Christmas photos kit from Taylor May Journals another little cute picture there of a girl hanging up a stocking and probably would be embarrassed looking at years later when she's sitting there with a boyfriend <laughs> there we are and that's it
and of course was handmade in my craft room and Merry Christmas one and all and there they all are there around the edge so like I say a beautiful kit and I was really pleased with this journal I thoroughly enjoyed making it it's actually got um, one two three four five six seven signatures in there so it's quite a, a thick chunky little thing so there's plenty of journaling space in there for, you, for Christmas memories. It is a gift for somebody or it already I have in mind. And that's it for that one. That'll probably be my last Christmas journal that I make this year. Um, as I have some more journals to make for Christmas, but they're not especially Christmas ones. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, again, I have some new subscribers. So welcome back to my channel and hope you will continue to enjoy watching my videos um, if you are watching and you haven't subscribed please do um, leave a comment and click the like button if you like it of course it all helps to increase my channel um, and get more views I do hope eventually to um, get an Epsi store going and maybe if I can pluck up the courage to do some tutorials but that may be sometime in the future I don't know when but for the moment, I'll continue to show you my journals that I create. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.